Hi guys and ladies, I bought some low carb tortillas recently and I think I hit on an easy tasty way to use them. Bacon and blue cheese fish wraps. <laughs> I stole this from a chicken recipe. Well, I've got all the ingredients, ah, 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 except one, the fish. <laughs> so let's see if we could go get some. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. a lot of fish for this recipe, just a pound of fillets. So why don't we try for bass first using this? It's a buzz bait and you know how it works. It goes along the surface. Well, check out the notes below for info on the gear and everything. But right now, let's go fishing. in the boat now. It's a fingerling. It's really small. But you know what? I gotta keep them. I gotta take these small ones out. Read the notes below and you'll see why it's best for the lake and the other fish to take out the little ones under 12 inches. Okay, oh, <laughs> but look, nice tummy, it's an eater. I've had good luck on sunny days with buzz baits before, but this isn't one of those days. Well, look, let's go with the, remember the action plastic lure from last week? Let's go underwater with this. Got one. Oh. Oh, it's little, but it's food. Food for the recipe. Okay, a real nice eater. seem to like this little action plastic lure. My sonar shows fish right up under the boat. Those are fish. They look like fish. Look, look. <laughs> That's what I saw. I knew, I knew there were fish down there. I saw it on the fish finder radar. I got this new measuring device, 32 millimeters, almost 12 and a half inches. Well, at least the crappie in this lake are big. I said millimeters, I meant centimeters, 32 centimeters. Also, I said radar, I think. No, it's sonar. Oh boy, I was so excited. I've been catching no bass at all except little ones like that. Let's go with this bluegill lure. I like this little one and a half inch thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, that's the fish I'm looking for. A nice, hefty, hefty bluegill. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at that beauty. Oh, yeah. 
look at this. I've got like five underdeveloped bass, one really hefty crappie, and two good-sized bluegill. That's more than enough for our wrap recipe. Let's get in the house. It's getting late. We'll fillet these guys. Here it is the next day. The bass fishing produced only dinkarinos, but we're supposed to remove the small ones anyway. And in the end, I have almost a pound and a half of these. Look at this, nice bluegill and bass fillets. Well, I froze the crappie for fish cakes. It's one of the only ways I like crappie. Well, let's get started on this easy peasy recipe. I need to cut these grape tomatoes in half. And I saw this trick on the Food Network. You take two lids from sour cream containers and you, and you sandwich them in there, those tomatoes. Then you take a serrated knife and you gently cut through. Look at this. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It works. Oh my goodness. I got the oven set at 425. I don't know, I'm making this up. The recipe calls for rotisserie chicken from the supermarket, but I've got my free fish outside. So let's make use of them. Here is a Lowry seasoning salt. I'm, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on one side. And I've got my fillets on non-stick foil. Let's pop them in this oven for like, oh, I don't know, eight and a half minutes. It's been eight and a half minutes. I don't expect to see much. You see, it's very plain. All I'm going to do now is let these fillets cool and then shred them up. So I'm flaking up our fish now. The recipe calls for two cups of shredded chicken. So I'm going to measure this to see how it compares. I tasted this and it's awesome. I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoned salt. How am I going to do this? This might work. Yo, oh, it's falling. I've got over three cups here. Now I know the measurement, so it's back in the bowl again. Let's start the fun. Remember last week I had peppercorn ranch dressing I bought for you guys? Well, let's use three quarters cup here in this mixture. This is why the recipe is so easy peasy. Here I've got six tablespoons of crumbly bacon. And look, it's real bacon, already crumbled for me. I got it at Walmart. Here are those halved tomatoes. I couldn't find fresh basil at Walmart, so I got this stuff. I'm gonna to try to put in about three tablespoons. I don't care much for Walmart's produce. They have a lot of nice stuff, but not in the produce. Last week, they were out of parsley. Is there such a thing as too much bacon? I don't think so. Let's get some more in there. I think you know now what we're going to do with this mixture. I've got these low carb wraps and I'm just gonna lay a little lettuce in there and then put in our filling. I've heated these tortillas up for a little softness. Oh, and I have these lettuce leaves. I got them from Walmart. There weren't very many good ones. You know, they were half black, but I picked out the best. Now look, I'm going to use this spoonula. They call this a spoonula. It's a half spatula and half spoon. I guess you could call it a spatuloon. Let's see how this works out. Kind of roll it up burrito style. There we have it. We'll cut them later. Well, here are the wraps and I have three options. I could put them in the refrigerator and keep them cool. I could put them in the oven and keep them warm or I could just leave them at room temperature. What would you do? While you're deciding, I made a little mini wrap. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I get the ranch. I get the blue cheese. The fish is just 
like chicken. I think the basil though really controls this. It it seems to pop. It makes the whole thing pop. I love it. You would too. Try these. Mmm. Mmm. I decided to keep our wraps warm because I have a special guest coming tonight who often complains the food here is too cold. And that person is the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic herself, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And I'm just delighted to be her host tonight. Uh, although uh, you probably know, uh, I've been trying to win her heart for uh, decades, but to no avail. She seems to have a, I don't know, a negative perception of marriage. And I need to stress to her the positives. I'm pleased to introduce to you the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and thank you so much for joining me tonight at my uh, hazardous haunted hovel. And uh, you had a chance to uh, gobble up my bacon and blue cheese fish wraps, and I'm eager to know what you thought of them. Well, they were very delicious. They were, you know, they were nicely flavored, and the all the little tomatoes and the lettuce were good, and the of course, the fish and the cheese and the uh, bacon were all good blend flavors. Oh, thank you so much. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can call you Lulu now. Uh, you know, our dear friends Frank and Jane, they have a wonderful marriage. There's nothing Frank wouldn't do for Jane. And it seems to me there's nothing Jane wouldn't do for him. Well, that's the way they go through life, doing nothing for each other. Huh? Can I have a hug? Mm -hmm.